Jim, you must be really pleased with that performance there. Yeah, I thought it was outstanding. Ash, I do. Um, I probably don't need to do too much talking tonight. I feel like the team uh, don't need to talk in itself. Uh, but all round, really, defensively, offensively, um, I thought we were really, really destructive. And that come from a brilliant work ethic, a brilliant commitment and some real expression from the players as a team. Uh, yeah, I thought it could have been, it could have been, it could have been big, could have been a big score tonight. Um, but yeah, all round, so many aspects of what you look for in a, in a, in a top team performance, it, it was there tonight. Was that first half as close to what you've sort of been looking for in the, in the team this season? Was that almost a, a complete first half for you? Yes, to be honest, yeah, it's, it's hard to um, think of too many areas where we fell short as a group, as individuals. It was, we were, we were red hot, to be honest, the team was red hot tonight. Um, and we blew them away. Uh, and they're a good team. They're really hard to get the ball off. Um, they're really hard to beat. Um, they tend, you know, to pick up points. Um, and I know that they're, they've fallen down the lead table because of the amount of games they are behind. But when they were, when they were, you know, playing an, an equal amount of games to the rest of the team in the division, they were they were challenging. They were challenging the playoff places. Um, I think they're a good side with with a real good. Um, playing style that's done them well obviously because their manager went and got a move to Notts County from it. I still think the knock on effect of, of his 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 work plus the plus the new guy's work is uh, is still very evident and they've got a they've got a good team there. So for us to go and be so complete and so destructive tonight as a team, um I thought it was really impressive. And for the first time this season over the last sort of few weeks you've probably had one of the better red eggs you've got in terms of team selection finally having players available, what's that sort of been like? Well, I think it's a different factor, isn't it, Ash? Um, I do think that's, you know, it, one of the reasons we did look great tonight. Um, it comes with that option, it comes with the freshness. I think the team performance looked fresh tonight. I don't think anyone could argue with that. It looked energetic. And I've never been lying, Ash, when I've said, you know, there's, there's moments where I can see the players are plateauing. And that that isn't that isn't wrong that isn't something that's wrong that's normal that's really really normal and any reasonable squad depth you have the opportunity to take players out for a while out the firing line a day or two you know and we've never been able to do that I, I don't think um, it's any coincidence that at one of the moments where we can now uh, have some options for some freshness the team looked you know brilliantly energetic and really really punchy tonight Keane will probably grab the headlines, but a player that I sort of wanted to highlight and discuss with you is a good friend of yours, Ethan Ewanks Landell. Obviously, grabbed a goal, a clean sheet tonight. Must be really pleasing as a defender as well to see the team get that clean sheet. Yeah, it is. It is. Ethan was a monster tonight, I think. He was a monster on set pieces four as well, which is good. I like it when he's on the move in the box. I like that. Um, when he's on the move, he's he can be a bit of a juggernaut. And I think he was tonight, and again, Another aspect you look for in a complete team performance, set pieces, they were there tonight. Everyone that we were lining up or teeing up, you thought, mm, we look hungry, we look dangerous, which is, which you know, it's always a welcome aspect. I spoke when we played the champions to be at the weekend, you know, how they always seem to pull out a set piece goal when, when, when they're sticky in a game. Uh, tonight we had that aspect to us, so we look dangerous in so many, so many parts. But yeah, um, Ethan led. Led the defence. I thought the guys alongside them were amazing. I thought Kyron, George, Cam John came in was really fresh. Uh, Jimmy K, brilliant. I thought I could I could name one to eleven. Uh, Ethan was brilliant. He led the team brilliantly. But there was so many other leader like aspects to to so many of the other players' performance. And um, I could go into detail on a few of the players' performances tonight that are really big. But I'm I'm hesitant to do so because I just thought the team was immense. We saw on Saturday before the game you went over and applauded the fans after each game. You go over and you do the same. How important is that relationship between you and them and that understanding of they know what you're trying to achieve here? It's big. It's big. Um, win or lose, I think it's big. Uh, and I've always done that. I've always faced up, I think, uh, in my playing days. And we had a lot of relegation dogfights in my time. We had some great times as well, at the top of League One and stuff. Uh, but I would say the balance of my time as a player was fights, dog fights, and P 
people aren't always overly happy in their moments because in those seasons you lose a lot of games and I've, I've looked into the eyes of many of our fans and seen their stress and uh, I've took the heat from them they've called me things over the years uh, but I, I get it I get it I, you know I've got empathy for it but equally on nights like tonight when the team is immense um, I think it's really important to connect with them I probably feel it's less important for me to connect with them when the team do that because I didn't do that tonight they did they did everything the team the squad this week in training they did that tonight all I do is try and get them in the best place possible for them to be what I know they can be I believe in them um, and if anything, on, on nights like tonight, when we win so, maybe not emphatically in score, I'm comfortable, uh, but emphatically in performance, I think it's important that the team get what they deserve from the fans and not me. We'll need them over the next few weeks, it's the cliche as that is, but aside that, looking at the games coming up, Saturday, Tuesday, busy schedule coming up again, what's your sort of initial thoughts ahead of that and ahead of absolutely the weekend? Just thinking how to keep the team fresh knowing um, all the time there'll be judgment made on any change you make um, because not everyone sees what I see not everyone sees these players week in week out not everyone knows their current physical state Devante Rodney for example um, and being advised by the people that know better than any of us our sports science department and the medical department you know if you re-expose Dev tonight after his first 9500 minute performance and he's in danger because of the athlete he is. And to be honest, I've got to listen to them people even when my gut is saying I don't want to. I want to, I want to put them out there again, especially after the way Dev played the other day and how we finished the game and it, it, the goal, obviously. Um, but it's bigger picture stuff. We exposed Dev um, maybe too much last time, maybe. You don't know. You, you look into all these things, but and he went and pulled a hamstring the week after his first game. So... Um, it's important not to be greedy and I have to um, face the music with my choices knowing that I'll, I'll always put the players first and you know the, the safety first of course um, never at the expense of my greed I don't think that's right but some nights it all goes right it went, it went right tonight hopefully many more do